Okay, let's take a look at uh, problem 15.13. DNA damage brought on by a variety of natural and artificial agents elicits a wide variety of cellular responses involving numerous signaling pathways. In addition to the activation of DNA repair mechanisms, there can be activation of pathways leading to apoptosis, which is a programmed cell death, and cell cycle arrest. Um, Okay, so what does this mean? Uh, there's still more to the question, but let's take a look at, at uh, what the question is talking about. Um, so, let me fix my pen here, as usual. Okay, so I've got my pen, right size here. Okay, so DNA damage, and let me, I'll draw, you know what, let me draw two cells here, or nuclei, we'll draw these are two nuclei and two different cells, and let's have a chromosome here, and I'll draw, I'll draw the other one over here, let's say this is a, a diploid cell, n equals 1, so one chromosome per set of chromosomes and a diploid cell, so there are two chromosomes here. They are homologous to one another. And I'm going to use the red pen for the DNA damage, and let's say, uh, I don't know, um, a lot of UV light or some other gamma radiation or x-rays or something, or or some chemicals or, or whatever, or ex the cells are exposed to these things, and we get lots of lots of damage over the chromosomes. Okay, so okay, let's say the damage is so bad, so bad, and uh, there are proteins that monitor the chromosomes for evidence of damage and if they find damage well they will they will accumulate on the damage and they will recruit other proteins repair proteins polymerases and and HeLa cases and all things like that and you know they will try to fix the damage here and in, in class we talked about how there are many many different repair processes but you know so there are some cases where you know the DNA can't be fixed or you know it is so bad that if it is repaired it's very unlikely to be repaired in a way that's going to be good for the cell or good for the organism as a whole and that can trigger a process called apoptosis which is uh, programmed cell death and so what is programmed cell death so our cells have you know a whole set of genes you know a whole bunch of genes whose whose sole purpose is to kill the cell so if the cell becomes a problem the cell reaches a certain age if DNA damage is too great if the cell can't recover there's a whole number of genes that are in charge of determining well okay it's time for that cell to die and that's called apoptosis so when these genes turn are turned on by certain signals um, they activate the cell death process so, okay, so that's one reason why DNA damage could lead to apoptosis. It's so bad, can't be repaired, uh, apoptosis can, can uh, be activated. So let's also say, okay, for this one down here, okay, well, there's a lot of damage here. Not so much, well, it can be fixed. Um, so if the DNA was being replicated here, Right, let's say we were in S phase or something. Well, you wouldn't want to replicate the DNA when when there was uh, damage there, right? Now, now you'd want to stop the cell cycle. So stop cell cycle, fix the DNA, and then continue um, with the cell cycle and uh, DNA replication during S phase. So. So pausing the cell cycle, is that what we called it? Oh, I think we had a fancier word, cell cycle arrest. So cell cycle arrest exists so we can fix the DNA 
before we go to a, a stage where, um, well, before we enter S phase, where, where DNA would have to be replicated. Um, so you would want to um, stop the cell cycle or progression of the cell cycle if the DNA was damaged, and cells have processes to do that. So again, uh, proteins would, would recognize the damage, and what they would do is you know, they would recruit other proteins, and there would be a whole signaling cascade that would lead to pausing of the cell cycle until the DNA is repaired.